What's going on guys? Today we're designing a front splitter for the Mustang. All right guys, so yes, we are back working on the Mustang. It has been a while, but I'm happy to make some more changes to it. And the reason is because I kind of liked exactly where it was at, and I didn't want to just start changing things for the sake of doing it. But now that it has been like this for a while, I do have a few things that I would like to alter or improve. And most of these things will be having to do with the front end. Now I really do like the front end, especially from this view. From certain angles, I don't necessarily like the way it sits, uh, especially in direct sunlight. I don't like how open it looks. Like right now, it's kind of shaded, so I like the way that looks, but when it's in direct sunlight, you can really see into all that, and I don't like it as much. Also, I think the uh, front could be a little lower. It was a little tough when I designed the front uh, bar. I did not have it on air, so it was higher, and I didn't know exactly what height I should bring it to, but now that I am on air, it could go a lot lower and be fine because of course I air it up when I drive. So that is what we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna be working on designing a front splitter. So with that splitter, I can drop it down a good bit below this front bar. And so of course to mount the splitter, I'm going to have to extend the front bumper downward with some tubing. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. The main goal today is going to be mocking up some things so I can fully design it and figure out exactly how I want it to look. And I will at least have some idea of how I like it to look based off of the Z3 here. So we did build the uh, side splitters here and the front splitter for the Z3 and it is also wide body so it's kind of a similar style. And so I'm looking at this to try to figure out what kind of overhang looks good. This is a three inch overhang all around. Of course, it matched up pretty well with the wide body, so the Mustang's a little bit different in how I did the wide body. And over here, I initially made all these splitters out of Kydex material. The front is still Kydex, but the sides I ended up remaking out of aluminum. So this is actually quarter inch thick 6061 T6 aluminum. I ordered it, actually got it CNC cut to the right size with the holes already drilled in there. So I just painted it and then installed it. The reason why I changed that is because with the Kydex, it can expand and contract a good bit with the weather. So actually just the one side, the left side, got pretty wavy when it heated up. So when you go to use aluminum, it's a lot more stable. It doesn't have nearly that issue. So the front is still this Kydex because I did not have the problem at all with the front. I'm not sure exactly why, but for now it's gonna stay uh, Kydex until I do have a problem. Maybe I'll eventually order that out of aluminum as well. So the plan with the Mustang is we're gonna go straight to aluminum so we don't have any issues. And I think I'm gonna use 3 16th inch thick aluminum most likely for this. Quarter inch was a little much and that way we can keep the weight down a little bit as well. But for today, I do have some of this extra Kydex material over here. This will be a good way to mock it up and uh, just get a feel for what it's gonna look like since this is already black as well. I can cut this and just kind of set it down below the bumper and then that'll give me a good idea if I have the design the way I want it. This isn't actually even quite big enough, it's not wide enough. So I will just mock up basically one side and that will give me a good enough idea. So first up, I will start to mark and cut this. Like I said, I think I wanna do three inches all around the front bumper. That looked pretty good on the Z3. So I'll mark and cut it. I can always cut it smaller then, but three inches is gonna be the max I want. And once we get it fully mocked up out of the Kydex, we can move over to the computer and get it designed in CAD so that we can have it CNC cut out of aluminum.
All right guys, so now I think I have this mocked up the way I want. So I did start with a three inch overhang and I gradually brought it back and now I'm at about two inch. And so what that means is basically this distance is uh, two inches instead of three. So it's three on the Z3, but that works a little bit better with the fenders. It looked like a little bit too much here. So I think two inches is what I'm gonna stick with. The only other thing that I was considering is you see how I have this straight section here on the end. I think I like that a little bit better than going to a point. It ends up sticking out too far out the side. So I think I'm liking that section straight, so I think I'll keep it like that. The only other thing I might change is round these corners. I don't want them quite that sharp, so I can do that rounding uh, in the CAD program. And the only big thing I'm not sure about yet is exactly how high it's gonna sit and uh, how far down below the bumper. I think I like it where it's at now, but that is something I can determine once I get the real part in here. And that will influence exactly how I do the mounting. I think I do have an idea on how I'm gonna do it. I have some of the leftover tubing here so I'll have sections something like this that I'll probably put down below the bumper obviously this isn't the right size but put them you know every so often again I'm not totally decided on that yet I can figure all that out exactly once I get the real part in but now we can head inside and take a look at the CAD design all right guys so now we're inside on the uh, CAD program I wanted to mention I'm using Pro Engineer Creo people always ask what I use and I've used a couple different ones on my YouTube channel so for the last uh, my bedroom build that I just did I actually used SketchUp and I did that because it has a library of uh, furniture and stuff that you can just add easily back when I did the loft and the ramp I actually did do it in Creo here and a long time ago when I designed my house I actually used Chief Architect first up I modeled my front bumper and I did this quickly, but it actually is pretty accurate and uh, looks pretty good. So I modeled that. I was really just going to do the bottom, but I figured I would just do the whole thing. It'll give me a better idea of what it's going to look like with the splitter. So next up, I modeled the splitter. And here it is. So this is exactly what I said. It is a two inch overhang. So from basically here to here is two inches. So that's all around and the only thing that's really different is I basically made this point to this point about inch and three quarter just so it doesn't stick out too far. The other thing I did was I added some of these rounds that I talked about. They're not huge so you can still see that it follows the same angles as the bumper but I just wanted to round it a little bit. I think it looks a little cleaner that way. Just a small round here on the back. Didn't want to go too big with that. I believe this is looking pretty good. This is about what I want. Uh, I'm not going to mess with putting any holes in it at all because I don't know exactly how I'm going to mount it yet. I know that I'm going to have a number of points all around that I'll need to drill some holes in it. But holes are really easy to just drill. Uh, it's going to be aluminum. It's not even steel. So that'll take me no time to do. And now that I do have this model, I can start to put in some of the supports that I was talking about and see what looks best. Like I said, I'm thinking some posts down every once in a while. Uh, with maybe some sheet metal coming off the back of it but I'm not sure yet and now I can uh, try a couple different things but now that I have all this modeled up and I like the way it looks I'm good to order this splitter and I will let you guys know next time how much this costs to get machined I'm thinking this is going to be somewhere in the 300 to 400 dollar range so that's going to be it for today let me know what you guys think of the design and next time I'll have this in my hands and we'll get it mounted up